Welcome back to Morning Coffee here on the Radio Vision Network. So glad you joined me. Thank you for doing that. I appreciate it. And you're going to be the one that receives the splendor and the spoils, right? Because I've got a very special gentleman sitting right to my right. His name is Timothy Bow. He is an author and he is an all around good guy. And he is sitting right next to me. Hey, Timothy, how are you today? Thanks for having me. You're quite welcome. So, look, let's just jump right into it. This is Timothy's book. You can get it on Amazon right now. Or you can get it on timothybowauthor.com. You can see right down there at the bottom, right? It says Timothy Bow. Just add author and .com, and you'll get to his website. So, Reign of Terror. Reign of Tell Terror. me all about it. Reign of Terror is about a, a character, Chance Barnett. And Chance Barnett works for the fictitious Homeland Security Agency. Okay. The Homeland Security Agency, their main job is to is counterterrorism. And they also do counterterrorism to the point where they don't want the American public to know that it was an act of terrorism. So they they stop the terrorism and then they cover it up. Okay. Um, I, I love a, I love. A yeah, this is the theory. yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> this is the stuff, right? I mean, we know that these are the stories that really capture the imagination right, because right. they're so relevant to what's going on in the world, but. We know that they're the most popular television and movies and, and books, and this this fits really nicely in the landscape, folks. This is the first Chance Barnett story, but believe me, there are many more in the works, but we need to get this one out now so that we establish Chance as the hero or villain. I'm not going to tell you which one that he, that he is, but you guys need to pick up the book. Um, this is a labor of love. You, really you, you have been a writer for, for many, many years, and if you go to the website, again, timothybowauthor.com, you can read a lot of Tim's stories. They're just there for you to read, which is really cool. The, the, a lot of short stories there. This book was actually born out of a short story. So just tell me a little bit about that background, that what, what got you interested in writing and, and, and wanting to share your stories with the world. Well, a writer once told me that um, everybody writes something. Mm -hmm. I have been exposed to, to writing um, by way of, I've been a technical writer, um, and I've had technical support jobs, which have actually, part of my job was to write uh, manuals and things like that. Yeah, I did a little bit of research, I don't mean to cut you off, but like, you, you've had, you're, he's a brilliant man, just so you guys know, in terms of like education and study and all <laughs> that stuff, but like, some of your, some of your background, like really intense, like hard work, it sounded like, like it, really demanding. Right. Well, I've, I've worked in the IT field for 25 years, um, and I've um, worked at a, in positions where I've had to go out and go out with sites and um, deliver sites and things like that. It's not really hard. Uh, once you know, pretty much, they're, they're all pretty it's good. Like it's like anything else. Once anything you get else. kind of in your groove and right. you go through it, you, 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 but, but you always wanted to, to write, and this was, this, you wanted to write right. uh, stories. Honestly, honestly I, didn't, I, I really didn't think that I was a writer. Okay. I met my wife, um, Dr. Catherine Tanksley Bow, great lady. <laughs> met her about 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> met her about 10 years ago. And I told her when we met, um, I said, you know, I, I, I like to write. I, I, I even wrote a short story. And she's like, oh, yeah, that's nice. You know, she's, she's encouraging me. You know, she's being like, right. you know, we started. Oh, we started there, guys, so. we know how that goes. <laughs> we know how that goes, right? She was like, oh, okay, cool, that's great, right? Not really right. taking the interest that you wanted her to, but. But about two years later, she read, read the short story. And she said, you know, I thought when you said that you wrote, I, I really didn't, you know, I thought that I really didn't think it was going to be this good. Right. And she said, you need to write take this short story, which is called uh, First Mission. And First Mission is the entire short story. It's about 29 pages, I think, is on the website. The whole, that whole, that whole. I can just go there and read it you right now? You can go there and read it right now for free. Oh, awesome. So go do that. So if you read the, read the short story and you read the book, there are going to be correlations between the two. You can sit back in the book and say, hey, you know, I, I, that's in the short story. Oh, cool. Or, or when you read the short story, you're going to say, oh, okay, so that's where that came from. So, so, you, so it's, not, it's not essentially the same story, but it's a connected story. Right, right. So you need to read both of them. That well, is actually, really cool. Actually, you don't need to read both. You can read one or, or the other. The, the, book is, the book will stand alone without the but short story. But they complement each other. Right, they complement each other. Yeah, that's really, really neat. I, and the, the cover art, we were talking a little bit off the air, uh, about kind of the, the design and all this right. stuff. I mean, 
just just looking at the that was the art that, is, is awesome. That was actually done through my layout person. Her name is Susan Shankin. Wonderful layout person. She's in in Los Angeles, and I was actually introduced to her through my editor, Rick Bensel. Okay. Who also is is in is in Los Angeles. Yeah, these are like high level um, publishing people that are out in California. This is pretty great that yeah. you got affiliated with them. Yes. Well, you know, I didn't want to put anything. I know sometimes sometimes when people self publish, they put things out that really aren't ready. Right. They put things out that are bad with poor grammar. Um, you know, they put things out that, that, that are just not ready to be read by people who, especially people who read all of the time. Right. I wanted Critical a, minds. Right. Yeah. I, wanted a, I wanted to put out a product that even people who read constantly will look at it and say, okay, this is, this is well written. I can, I can oh, actually I can read this. Timothy, you realize the challenge, though, that you brought upon yourself, right? Because this created a labor of love. Right. It really, tell me a little bit about that process. Well, once I sat down to write, by be, me not being a, a fiction writer originally, it was quite a task. Um, I, I would sit and write and write and write for hours, then I would go back and edit. Oof. Yeah. And it, it, that's why... Self-editing while you're writing is really difficult, <laughs> folks. I don't know if you know that. But it was just it was just my habit. It was just habit. You know, when I looked at it, I had been told actually to write linear. Actually, Rick taught me that. He said, write linear. And okay. Let the editor do the rest. Um, but I would actually write a little bit, then I would go back and, and edit and make changes. And then as you write, as you do a story that has a lot of twists and turns, you have to make sure that each twist and turn, if it's referenced in another section, that they match. Yeah, I mean, I could almost see you like at a big whiteboard, keeping all of like everything all right. straight. You got to keep everything straight, right? You got to kind of. <laughs> Excuse me. It's got lots of arrows pointing. Right, and like, right. What's going down here? And it's, yeah, it's, it's the process is is just amazing to me. It's such it's such a cool thing. And anybody that takes on you, you know such a it, it feels like such an insurmountable task when you start to, when you set out to write something like this. So your feeling of accomplishment and pride and and all of those things. They, right, they, right. They they really they fill you up with a really really great feeling. So then that puts the responsibility on us to go buy the book and read the book and share your experience about the book right, right. because Timothy poured his heart and soul into it and and it's an affordable book again you could just go to Amazon right and pick it up to, right you there you can go to Amazon and pick it up it's available on the indie website um, or you can get it from right from the website. The website will lead you right into one of the other sites. Oh, so you can go, you you can just go, go to, to timothybowauthor.com. Oh, right, right. You can go to either either Amazon or indie through my website. Uh, it's also available on Kindle. Perfect. Oh, that's easy. I just talked to a lady a little while ago. She was telling us about this new Kindle that's out that everybody is going to love. Right. So the first book you add to the Kindle is Reign of Terror by Timothy Bow. Get You get it now? You see how that fits in? <laughs> this is awesome. So, Tim, I'm going to take a quick break, but then okay. we'll come back and we'll talk way a lot more. <laughs> okay. Uh, way a lot more. Does that even make sense? <laughs> I'm talking to an author here, and I can't even speak English, so... We're going to take a break, and we're going to come right back and talk more with Timothy Bowes. Stay right there. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to give a sub some sizzle, this is the way. The way it's always been. The way it always should be. The way it always will be. Because that's just the way it's supposed to be. Jersey Mike's, be a sub above. 
My dream job is to run and manage my own spa one day. To be the general manager for the Jumeirah Hotel in Abu Dhabi, Dubai. I feel that Mercier has prepared me very well for my future in the hospitality industry. The kitchen is incredible. You are planning the meal, doing all the costing and the recipes. You're in charge of everything going on in the kitchen. They really do get you prepared and they want to make sure that you have a job after college. Welcome back to Morning Coffee here on the Radio Vision Network. Thank you for joining me. And uh, t I'm talking to t author Timothy Bowe. And, and Tim, we just saw the trailer for the book. That was so cool. Thanks for sending that over. That looks awesome. Right. That like puts like the pictures to, to the words and all that. And, and I was... And I couldn't hear it, and I'm going to go back and, and watch it again so that I can get the audio, but really slick-looking trailer for the book. That looks really, really cool. And I have the book right here. This is what you need to get, Reign of Terror. One of the things that jumped out of me in the trailer was uh, a little shout-out to Philadelphia. It's set, part of the book is set right in Philadelphia. So as we sit here in South Jersey, as the big city kind of overshadows us, we know that the, the book takes us all over the East Coast, but... A big portion of it happens in Philadelphia. Right. Well, the, the character himself, he lives in Long Island. And the, the story is about a really kind of, the, he's looking for a kidnapped professor who is from, who is, lives in Philadelphia. Okay. So Chance and his handler are sent down um, to work as pretty much, they, they're undercover as a married couple to work in Philadelphia to find out where this professor is. Oh, that's, that's so cool. So do we get to kind of like... We, we identify with a lot of the landmarks and the locations oh, you that you they... Will def you definitely will. Yeah. You'll identify with the landmarks, um, probably some of the towns around. But even if you live in Long Island, you're going to be able to identify with, with the story. Yeah, I love, uh, I, honestly, I love stories that incorporate, um, a, you know, the local aspect of it. And, and, and Timothy did it, and there's another author that writes a lot. He's a playwright. He's a local guy that he writes when he, he sets all of his plays in Philadelphia. Yeah. Which is really, it's a, it's a neat thing because, you know, you, you read so many stories and they don't necessarily have to be anywhere specific, right? right? right. They could almost be in any city, anywhere in the world. And, and to really uh, focus and, and put your setting in a, in a specific place like Philadelphia that we all know and love right. so much, it, it just adds, it adds to the story. And, and, I'm, I, and I'm just, it just jumps out on the back cover here. Uh, and I'll just give you an excerpt from this one sentence. Uh, to a nuclear bomb on a truck headed for Independence Hall in Philadelphia. That just jumped right out at me. I mean, look, I mean, anytime you're worried about a, uh, a nuclear, and you can tweet me and tell me that I'm saying that wrong if you want, the, the, you know, a nuclear bomb coming, it's, uh, it's definitely going to be a pretty um, touchy situation. It's, it's exciting. It's, it's nail-biting. Yeah, and I, I think... to keep you on edge. Yeah, what's cool about it is that we've got a lot of aspiring filmmakers and... And, and you know where I'm going with this one. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, read the book. You may have uh, the makings of a great screenplay, and all you have to do is go to timothybowauthor.com. You get in touch with Timothy, and you start working it out. Now, right. you're going to need actors for your project. Remember the guy, right? <laughs> Remember the guy. And I'll, I'll audition like everybody else and make sure it goes to the right, the right, the right guy, and, 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 and I see big things on the, on the horizon. But... But the first thing, first things first, people got to read the book. They got to right, get right. the book. So go to timothybowauthor.com and, and you can, not only can you read all sorts of great stuff for free that Timothy has put up there, you can you can order the book right there. It, it, it's so easy, timothybowauthor.com. And, and what's cool about it, uh, Tim, is that this is the first story. Right. You got right. a lot of stories kind of kicking around up I here, do, right? I, I have actually gotten into the habit, I write every day. Okay. And I am working on my second story, which is actually almost almost complete. It's not a it's not a sequel to this book, but there's there's another story which should come out um, in next next spring. Okay. It's not a sequel, it's action, it's adventure. One of the things that I like are writing about tough guys and tough girls and that's what's that's what's in, in this book and that's what Going to be in the viewer. Listen, this is a, that's it, it's they're the stories that people want to hear and read because right. they're 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 like you get to be transported into a different world for a right. little while and it's and it's a really it's a special thing and I don't I'm not trying to sound like weird about it or whatever but 
for an author to be able to effectively put the reader into the world that they want to show the reader is a really challenging thing to do. And I'll be full disclosure, I haven't read the book yet. He may not get this copy back because I want to read it. But, Feel free. But, but what I'm saying is that you seem to me like you're very confident that you have a great piece of material right here right. that everybody that reads it is going to take something positive out of it. You know, I think that a lot of authors, they, they, they're not naive to the fact, they know that Reign of Terror may or may not be your favorite book after right. you read it, but you're gonna take a positive experience out of it right. because it's well-written, it's a well-crafted story, and it's, it, it, it's, it's a story that resonates because it's got it's got some of that topical right right that right. topical thing theme but it's also got the relatable relationship type themes right. and, and right. the human aspect right I, I also i believe in very strong characters um, i believe in very well worked out characters there is a backstory to chance which will probably come out in the sequel okay there's a backstory to jasmine who was his handler who also that will come out um, pretty much in the sequel but I believe in very, very strong, personable characters. Um, I know you, you, know, you want to be Chance Barnett, but you know Chance Barnett is a. I wrote Chance Barnett just pretty much for the ladies. Chance is six foot five. He's a handsome guy, good looking guy. He's oh <laughs> man, I'm out for. Uh, listen, maybe there's other roles. Look, I, 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 I understand. I get that. No, but, but you've created Chance. Chance is a, is he's a heartthrob. Right. He's, right. He's right. a strapping man. Look, I'm not six five. I know. I know what I am. I, I mean, I, uh, mediocre looks. I get it. I, you know, I could do. Ah, uh, you'll do. I, I, I'll, I'll like make I you said, another agent. Yeah, I, I played. Listen, I played FBI agents all the time, so I, I could fit the uh, I fit the uniform perfectly. Don't worry about that. It's just fun though, because it, it, it's. It, I, 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 I keep catching myself reading the back here, and I, I'm on, We're on. We're doing an interview, so like right. I shouldn't. I shouldn't keep doing that, but like, Chance battles ferociously with guns ablaze and the most advanced spy technology to protect America. I mean, right. these are these are lines like, they're engaging. Right. There's a lot of research went into that book. Um, when I first actually first started writing it, some of the technology wasn't even really developed yet. wasn't mm -hmm. well developed yet. Now a lot of it, you know, you'll see it in, in everyday life. Um, a lot of the technology. That's so and cool. It's gonna make you wonder because you know when you look at the cameras up on the poles, what are they really looking at? Yeah, and that's and that's where your background in IT comes right. in, and that's so cool. I mean, I'll tell you, there's like, I love shows that kind of show you that stuff, and you're like, wait, what is that? That's like a facial recognition thing, and then and then that's popular, right? right? Like right. then then you start seeing it anywhere. That's what. Timothy did with the book here, Reign of Terror. It's uh, it, it's awesome. I got and this is going so fast. I got to take another break. Right. Okay. So we'll take a break All and then right. we'll come back and we'll talk even more about Reign of Terror. So stay right there, folks. You're not gonna go anywhere, right? Because we're gonna be right back here on Morning Coffee on the Radio Vision Network. Stay right there. When it comes to injuries, they're not all created equal. That's why at Performance Spine and Sports Medicine, our team of doctors will coordinate and customize your care to provide the best treatment options using the area's most advanced medical technology. All with one goal in mind. To get you back in the game. We call life. Pain-free. Drug-free. Surgery-free. That's what we do here at Performance Spine and Sports Medicine. Get better faster. Stay better longer. Saving your business money is as easy as one, two, three. Tanker Consulting Services, a payment solutions expert, will show you how with a free, detailed, written analysis illustrating your cost savings. We usually uncover savings between 10 and 25 percent and sometimes more. We can help your business succeed by providing reliable and secure merchant payment solutions such as merchant services programs, point of sale systems, and ATM machines. TCS, one of the leaders in regional credit card processing consulting, offers electronic payments to merchants locally and nationwide through our preferred vendor programs. We work to keep business costs down with a comprehensive suite of quality products, services, and customized credit card processing programs exclusively tailored for your company. TCS is convenient, reliable, and innovative. 
with customer service available 24-7, 365 days a year. Our in-depth industry knowledge, partnership strategy, and innovative processing solutions allow for a specialized approach to providing merchant bank processing with 100% full fee disclosure. TCS is one-stop shopping for all your merchant services solutions. Our clients save money 100% of the time. Trust Tanker Consulting Services, the knowledgeable, professional, and friendly provider of secure payment services. We set the standard by which others are measured. Call now for a free written analysis. 609-922-0201. Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. Come see our new location in Martha, New Jersey. Not just gifts, but more. Welcome back to Morning Coffee here on the Radio Vision Network. I'm Mark Cook, but of course you already knew that. It says it right there at the bottom of the screen. And I'm talking to the author of this book, Reign of Terror. His name is Timothy Bow. And uh, Tim, this has been great, get, being able to catch up and talk about the book. I'm, I'm so excited to read it. it. It looks great. And I urge everybody out there, pick up a copy. Easiest way on Amazon or on timothybowauthor.com. Now, Tim just told me something really cool off the air. We were talking a little bit about your process and how you try to write every day and you keep your notebook with you and you, you're, you're really approaching the craft as an artist. And that's, it's really a, a kind of a special thing because... A lot of people like to just write and then be done, and then they call themselves a writer or an author or whatever, and they're missing a big piece of the creative process there. It's, it's uh, when I was um, studying at Playhouse West in the acting world, that's how we approach it. You're right. always doing something to enhance your craft. And, and Tony Savant has a saying, every day you either get a little better or a little worse. Right. Right? Absolutely. So writing every day makes sure that you ensure you're getting better every day. And that's what, that was the thing. If you don't rehearse or, or act, you're getting a little worse. And that's right. the thing. You don't get a lot better or a lot worse, just a little bit each day. That's something I took with me. Thank you, Tony. So when you were talking about your process, you said, look, I have notes. I've got all this stuff. But a lot of my characters, they're real people. They're real people I encounter in my day-to-day -day life because, he's, he, I mean, he's already mentioned it, and, and I'm, I'm going to let you talk in a second. I've just got to get all this out, right? But we were talking about how you like to make sure that your characters are complex and they're layered, and they come from, <coughs> excuse me, people that you meet on a day-to-day -day basis. Right. Has this ever caused a problem for you? No, because no one really knows that it's them. Oh, perfect, <laughs> perfect. I'll change it just enough so they don't know that it's them. That's really funny because I'm sure that the person you've had in mind has talked about the character, right? Right. right. And maybe said something <laughs> here or there, and you were like, ah, oh, you don't even know. That's about you. Does that happen? That's right. Well, no, no because like I said, people don't know um, because it is, you know, I, I, when I take a character and I'll take a, a main character, um, no one really fits the mold exactly, so you have to take a little bit of this person and a little bit of that person and you know a little bit of this person and 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 eventually you come up with with, with that character. It's like a recipe, character. right? It, it right. is a pinch of uh, personality, right? A pinch of stoicness, and mm -hmm. and it's really neat how how you've you've developed uh, developed so many so many great characters, and I I think what's really uh, kind of cool about it is that you get to you get to kind of experience the whole journey with Timothy through the book because we're talking, <clears throat> excuse me, wow, because we're talking about a gentleman with an extensive IT background. You studied, man, when you were younger, you you studied so much. It's like, it's so, right. it's so impressive for coming from a guy who didn't <laughs> study enough, right? Oh, I didn't study enough. Trust, <laughs> me, on that. Trust me on that. But like, he, he, you're able to incorporate all of these great um, experiences that you've had in your life, as well as the people, as well as the technology, as well as crafting a story that really, it, it, it's, it's, it's a thrill. It's like a thriller, right? right. I mean, this, this you don't put this book down. It's a, yeah. it's it's a it's a page turner. They say. Right, right. Now, when you when you read this book, um, you're going to read it until you either get to the end or until you run out of time, right. one or the other. Um, it moves around a lot. It's it's uh, I, I believe in having a very active story that moves around a lot. It will move from character to character, from situation to situation. 
Um, so you may get right up to what's going to happen here, and it jumps to someone else. Oh, man, that sounds <laughs> so cool. And, and this is just, this is exciting because, you know, I get to talk to Timothy Bo now, and then you guys are going to go out and buy the book and read it and love it, and then Timothy is going to be huge, right? And then you're going to be talking to a lot more important people than me. Oh, no, no, never. You'll come never, back, I'll right? Come back. All right, because look, <laughs> this is the thing. There's like, like the pathway to success is almost guaranteed because you've got the right, you you've got the right fit here. It's a good book. We're not, right? You're not right. you're not trying to prop it up on, on popsicle sticks. Right. You you you've got really good material that right. I can tell you're really proud of, and, and that you just need people to read it. Guys, right. buy the book. Holidays are coming. It's a nice, it's a nice gift, uh, honestly, and it's. I would say like your dad or your grandfather or your brother, but this is for women. It's for women too. He, he said earlier, Chance Barnett is written for women, but women are going to love the story. Guys are going to love the story. Your teenager is going to love the story. It, it, it's, it's obviously not a kid's book, but it, your, 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 your teenagers are going to love this book. And, and Timothy, uh, I want to thank you for, for spending a few minutes with no, me this morning. This me. is really great. I want to make sure that you get the time. I want you to look into that camera right there. Okay. And as the uh, old football coach for the Eagles used to say, the time is yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I just want to encourage everyone to actually even go to the website. Um, if you want to know about my writing style or whatever, go to the website, timothybowauthor.com. You can read the backstory to First Mission. I have another short story on there, and, and when I say short story, the short stories are about 25 to 30 pages long, um, so you'll be able to read the full, the full backstory for Reign of Terror. And once again, I, I encourage you to read it. I encourage you to go to the website and send me a message. Let me know what you think of the book. Um, I would really, really appreciate that. Um, you can contact me right through the contact section on the website. Um, the book was um, edited um, by a, a wonderful editor, Rick Benzel and the layout person, Susan Shankin, and I really want to, I know they're going to look at this, and I really want um, them to know that I really appreciated their work. Um, so it's not a, it's not a, a book that was just written hastily and, and put out. It's, 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 it's written for the reader. It's written for people who are used to, to good literature. Yeah, and, then, and look, the least we can do is uh, just reward all of his hard work by going and grabbing a copy of Reign of Terror right now. And, uh, and your folks, you, you your layout and your editor, that, that big big shout outs to them. We know right, yeah. we we know they're watching. And guys, thank you so much. You, you, this this I know it was a labor of love, and Timothy really appreciates all your help. And and now, like I said, folks, it's just up to you guys. You got to help us out here. Help Timothy out. Grab the book. It's affordable. Go to timothybowauthor.com and, and read read Timothy's style. You're gonna love it. And then you're going to order a bunch of copies of the book. So That's make sure right. you do that, all right? More the better. Timothy, thank, thank you Mike. so much. Thank you're you quite welcome. Much. So I'm going to take another quick break here on Morning Coffee, but you're going to go and buy Reign of Terror right now, and you're going to come back because we'll be right back on the Radio Vision Network. Stay right there.